Former Rangers captain Dave Maloney with Armin and Levac on 104.5. The team, catch him on MSG Networks and on the uh, Rangers Radio Network as well, at Dave Maloney MSG on Twitter. And Dave, uh, recently the Rangers have run into some injury issues with Derek Stefan and Kevin Klein, both hurt within the last week. How much has that hurt the Rangers moving forward? Well, I know that the, the old cliche or the old line is injuries are part of this process, right? And, you know, we go back to one of the last times we chatted was after uh, Game 7, the Eastern Conference Finals, and it turns out they were devastated by injuries and, and couldn't get it done. And and so, you know, the injuries for the first 20-some-odd games, no factor at all, and they have become a significant factor in the last week. And, and of course, uh, Derek Broussard is a very, very important player. As, as is Kevin Klein. Klein might have been the most consistent defenseman on uh, kind of a mysterious start from the Rangers. I'm not sure they've been 100% happy with how they played, uh, but certainly have taken the record. So there are two pretty crucial guys out of the lineup. Uh, make no uh, make no mistake, but again, this started with the cliche observation. Uh, I'll finish with the thought, you know, there are other guys now that will have to, uh, you know, maybe play a little bit above, above the pay scale or standard and uh, try and get this thing, uh, just hold the port until a couple of important guys get back. Do you, do you think that the Rangers will be able to pull off a trade before the deadline? You know what? Uh, it, it, I mean, it's so hard. Um, unless the money fit. You know, they're right up against the cap. Um, and, and, they're, and again, they're not the only team that, over the course of the season, would like to tweak or would like to shake up things or whatever. But unless the money fits, it's very, very difficult to uh, to move bodies, uh, particularly during the season when you've really got very little cap flexibility. So um, if they could uh, find something, they really, you know, probably what they probably need more than anything is another top six forward. You know, Chris Carter struggled and, and, um, and uh, Kevin Hayes is, is still a young guy. So, but there are a lot of teams looking top six forward. So I think a lot of things would have to fall into place for the Rangers to make a deal of any kind. Former Rangers captain Dave Maloney with Armin and Levag. You can see him on the MSG Networks. Big one tonight, Dave. Rangers <laughs> Islanders. How weird is it to you that this is in the Brooklyn building playing the the Islanders? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of strange because I do uh, harken back to the glory days of the rivalry uh, when both teams were pretty good and, and yet uh, we couldn't find a way to ultimately beat the Islanders in the early 80s. So it is odd. I, I really enjoyed playing the Coliseum, and even from a broadcasting uh, vantage point, it was a great place to broadcast a game from. An intimate old barn, and and uh, you know, without the amenities, you know, the people actually came to the, the building and basically stayed in their seats, and uh, you know, up against the glass. It was a wonderful atmosphere, and again, it got antiquated, uh, and uh, they have to move on. Have not been to the Barclays Center, so this will be a maiden voyage uh, tonight for myself. So. But there are, you know, there's plenty of things. I mean, the Islanders always seem to play with a little bigger chip on their shoulder when they play with the Rangers, and uh, the Rangers haven't haven't been very good. They really haven't been. And it'll be an interesting test tonight. It'll be a fun watch. Well, now, you talked about the glory days of the rivalry. We've been talking mm-hmm. about Jets-Giants all week, that rivalry. Can, right. you, can you sum up the modern Rangers-Islanders rivalry? Well, I think any rivalry guy is, is, is only it, it's heightened by the, the, the way the teams are playing. And of recent, these have been two pretty good teams. So there was an intense, there's an intensity there that you can only get when you know you're a good team. You've been playing well. Uh, I go back to the again the early '80s, and, and we're a pretty good team. So this one here, uh, I, I think that thing you've got, you know, Hendrik Lundqvist is a, a big name player, and, and John Tavares is a big name player. Um, the Islanders come at the Rangers with a little more heft. Uh, and if the Rangers are on top of their game, they want to move the puck and have the puck. So there are all kinds of ingredients. There's enough. And the Islanders, too, have catalysts when it comes to physicality and the Suzuka, Smart, and Clutterbuck trio. So there's, there's all kinds of ingredients here that should set up, let alone, you know, oftentimes the Ranger fans have outnumbered the Islander fans in their respective buildings. So there's all kinds of different things here that add up to be a pretty exciting rivalry. Cool. Former Rangers captain Dave Maloney with Armin and Levac, 104.5, the team, your home for New York sports. Dave, the Rangers are in first place, but you mentioned they've been struggling as of late. Forecast your expectations on the rest of the season for us. 
Well, I think it's very important uh, that this team gets back to its real strength, and, and, and really it starts in their own end with what they do with the puck and without it. You know, we've taken for granted the play of Brian McDonough, Dan Girardi, Mark Stahl for granted over the you know last three years anyway, and you know they're pretty efficient in their own end. And I, I just don't think they've been quite as good as they need to be for this Elaine Vigneault system to work. Um, now, why that is, I, I couldn't. Then all uh, two of the three were injured coming out of last mm-hmm. year. I'm not sure that that's a, a factor or not, but. I just think they have to be better. The system, the system is a good way to play. They've got a goaltender that's going to cover up some sins, uh, but it has to be executed better. And uh, until that happens on a consistent basis, I think they're going to struggle. And what happens then is you're chasing the puck more than you have it. And I think that's been the issue for this club is spending too much time chasing the puck and instead of um, getting it, making a play and get out of dodge. So I think it's still, you know, there, there are some... Uh, there are some teams. It'll be a big. It'll be a good test tonight. This this team will come hard with some emotion, and uh, if the Rangers can play with the you know the savvy and poise that they they should be able to play with, given what they've seen over the last couple of years. It, it'll it'll set up to give uh, the Blue Shirts a little better chance to be who they think they can be and want to be. Dave, I can hear it in your voice. Rangers Islanders still pumps you up, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it really does. I think any. But I, I can't. I just get back to when you get good teams, and then there's uh, history, good franchises, good you know, good teams playing playing good hockey. I, I really like the way the Islanders play. They play hard. They play honest. Uh, their personnel fits. Everybody seems to be slotted in the right spot. Um, so I, I just, uh, I just really think it'll be an exciting night, and I, I hope uh, that it lives up some of the expectation that we all have. Watch Dave Maloney tonight on the MSG Networks. Of course, the puck drops tonight at 8 o'clock, and uh, you can hear Dave Maloney on the uh, color into things on the radio side as well during the game. Dave, you're the man. Thank you so much for your time today. I know you're most likely working in the yard right now. If I, did, I get, did I guess that correctly? <laughs> yeah, well, there's always work to be done in there. So I, and it's, and I'm glad to be one of the uh, part of the top-rated uh, talk radio shows in the state of New York. It's just, I'm humbled. I'm humbled to be part of it. Part of or the reason why? I think we go with the reason why. Take more credit, Dave Maloney. Take more credit. (laughs) It sure as heck ain't us. (laughs) Well, listen, guys, it's always a pleasure. Let's stay in touch.